Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I just have to document this because this is one of those things that like won't ever make the video, but if I try to tell somebody what happened, they wouldn't believe it. So we're in here taking a thumbnail for a previous video and Greg finds a lizard. He tried to get me to help him trap it. I'm not that big of a lizard, man. I wish I had a penny to show y'all like how to no, it is. It's small. You can tell by your hands like. Yeah, but I got a big hand. Greg has been mesmerized by this lizard. You know, some people like puppies, but Greg is a lizard, man. Bro, if you can get like a legit picture with this, bro, I'm telling you, I'm posting this. Yeah. You know, back in my day, one of my favorite things used to be was like busting these. Mm -hmm. but I hope this rain doesn't hurt. Do you like leave this pole right here? Yeah, instead of. You're coming back? Yeah. Yours is probably a little bit wider than mine, so after that, we should be good. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Look at that. That's perfect right there. Just slid on down there by itself. Now the fun part is going to be one getting there behind it. First fun part is getting behind it. Then fun part number two, figuring out how we're going to get them out of here. But hopefully in between there, there'll be a lot of fish catching. So we really won't be too worried about it. Oh yeah, baby. Finally. Finally we make it to this pond. It just rained so it's either really gonna help us or hurt us. I really hope it helps. But the last couple times Marshall's been out here, we haven't caught any fish. He caught one first first second cast today. First pond we went to, but I've really I've really been hoping to put Marshall on some fish and I think we might finally have the opportunity to do that. Now I looked at my oh I looked at my box of chatterbaits before I got out of the truck and I was like eh. Cause I didn't want to have a whole bunch of whale in this kayak. See dude, like once we pass this spot, there's no telling how good it could get. That and then like back there in the back, dude, there could be like some huge fish back there. Just a Senko right now. I want to catch a couple, then I'll probably switch to maybe something moving. Something's telling me to put this down and pick up the crankbait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, first cast, dude. First cast with the crankbait. Small one. First cast with the moving bait. He like hit it hard too. I mean, it's a small one, but he hit it really hard. All right, first fish on the crankbait. See you later. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Another small one. Got another small one. The crankbait. There's another one. See you later. Another small one. We're going for the big old four pounder in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe fifteen pounder. And just kind of hold him out. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Another one. Not big. Not big. He sounded big on that splash, but he's better. Do they keep going up slowly but surely? <laughs> oh, that's another better one. That's a better one. He was like borderline to choking that one. That one, you get a, you can get a little feature. It's about a pound. See you later. Oh, good crank bait. I'm keeping my rod tip high just so keeping out of that grass is grass. So I think I'm probably like bringing it right over the top of this grass and. Bill should have been munching it. Got two back to back. Oh, there's another one. That's a good one. <laughs> Dude, that's four on the crankbait. And they just keep getting bigger and bigger. This one's a little bit fatter than the last one was. What? Yeah. All right, there's another one. That's number four. See you later. Oh, there's another one. 
Dude, all in the crankbait. This is a better one. He's fighting a lot better. He's pulling the kayak. Oh, I had him hooked funny. I have another one of these crankbaits if you want it. There's like five back to back to back. I have another one of these chatterbaits. All right, guys, that is fish number, what, five? Uh, it's a five and a half foot diving. And it's like a shad pattern with a black bat. I'm just like leaving my, oh, you're doing the same thing. Just leaving my rod tip up so it doesn't go too, too deep. Double up, quick double up. There's one. That's a better one. Cash right there in the middle, dude. Yeah, I'll kind of like back out and then like you just go back over there. Do I have another one of these crankbaits if you want it? Did he get out? Let's see you later. All right, camera wasn't on, but got another one. Yeah, he came like right on the outside of it. All right, guys, that's the best one of the day so far. Nice little two pounder. Pound and a half, we won't quite give him two. Marshall told me, Marshall told me about the bubbles about the bubbles. He came like right over where I'm at right now. Oh, I just hit something. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bluegill. Is that what that is? Yeah. I don't know if that was a bite or like a rock or something. Dude, this is absolutely like insane how this is going right now. And it's not like it's good, but it's not even that good. Like I feel like it could get so much better, but I'm not complaining by any means. We've caught, I think Marshall's caught about three. I've caught about six, seven so far, so. Maybe eight, all in this crankbait. I might have to switch it up in a second if we keep catching them. I'm just like out here blind. Or I'm just out here in the middle fan casting. Let me get them in the bite. There we go. It's a small one. I kind of saw him swim off with it. Tiny one. Paper thin. I know they're big in here. I know it. I'm going to keep saying it. I know they're big. I know that there's bigger ones than this in here. There's bigger ones than this in here. There's bigger ones than this in here. They are that small one. See you later. Another smaller one. They get bigger, they get bigger. I know, they get bigger. Oh, that's not bad actually. It's like top percent of the ones, out of all the ones we've caught today. All right, there we go. Fish number, I don't know, we'll say that's 10, it might be actually. That one? Baby. Baby. They'll get bigger, they're getting bigger, dude. Yeah, from underneath the grass and stuff. Over here, like look out over here because they'll, where you said they were schooling at, well, you can kind of still see the bubbles. There was a whole bunch and that's where I caught one off of. But I think I like just pulled up over the top of it and kind of messed it up. Right. Little Chapo 75, new size Chapo. Let's see if maybe we can get a couple top water. Oh, ho, ho. There was one that missed it. It just gave me like a little mini heart attack. I was not expecting that. 
I don't know what it is about top water. I could have caught like a billion fish in a 10 pounder, and then I catch like a little dink on the top water lure, and I'm like, oh. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a good one. No, never mind, never mind. I mean, he's better, he's not super good. This hadn't felt one in a while, got a little excited. All right, that's another better one. Not bad, he's a fatter one than what we've been catching. Marshall said he had a three that came off when we first got out here. We're about to head out. Here's like a two hour ride home. This is so cool. All right guys, so record day of kayak bass fishing. Got our last fish of the day right here. Marshall came and we got on some fish. It's a small one, but we caught the numbers today. And we caught them all in like an hour and a half. So that's all it's fun, catching a whole bunch on a crankbait. Great way to catch fish. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Signing out with the fish. See y'all later. Fish them hard. Have a good day. I couldn't kiss them. I've kissed too many fish in my day, and that's, it's just like that smell gets on your upper lip, and it's like, eh, nah. But there it goes. Fish them hard. See y'all.